Hey guys, I made a video about this about a year and a half ago, but I wanted to make a uh, quicker version and get to the point a little quicker. If you're having to run your idle trim all the way down to get an ESC to arm, that ESC is wanting to see about a thousand microseconds on the idle end and it probably wants 2,000 microseconds on the top end, full throttle. Well, there's a better way to do it. Um, if you do it like this, you're going to be looking at this minus 100 from now on. I would rather have zero here myself because I'm a little OCD. And you see on the monitor screen, I have the throttle cut on. And the idle, the stick is at idle. And so it's at minus 100. And when I enable the motor... Now it goes to minus 129 or so. The sticks are off a little bit. But you see your, your throttle cut doesn't work correctly unless you go into throttle cut and also set it to minus 130. So that's two things you're doing, and you can see it right here. The stick's all the way down, the motor's on, and the motor's off. So you see it's only moving a couple of counts. So not only do you have to set the trim to the all, all the way to the bottom, you have to set the throttle cut to a non-standard value. This used to be the standard value, but about three or four firmware versions ago, they made it default to minus 100. And what that minus 100 means is, is that it will set the throttle channel to 100% of whatever the endpoint is set to. So let me show you a better way to do this. Leave this at minus 100, which is the new default, and go into servo setup and go to travel and set your throttle, lock them together where you set them both at the same time and set the low and the high to 125% and then go back into, well, actually, I need to go back to the main screen and put the trim back to center now. And so now if I go to the monitor screen with the throttle cut on, it's at minus 125, which that is actually 400 microseconds times 125% is 500 microseconds. The center is 1500 microseconds and minus 100 is um, 400 microseconds less than 1500, so it's 1100. And then plus 100 is 400 microseconds above 1500 which would be 1900 so anyway with the stick all the way down motor on it's at minus 124 125 or so and throttle cut on it's at the same value so there's no difference it works perfectly if i go to full throttle now it goes to 123 if i push on the stick i can make it go to 124 so now you've got 400 microseconds times 123 or 4% 4 is 2,000 microseconds for full throttle. And you've got 1,000 microseconds for a idle, which is what the ESC wants. Um, some ESCs can't be recalibrated. They're hard-coded to 1 to 2 milliseconds or 1,000 to 2,000 microseconds. So anyway... The easiest and best appearing method to fix this ESC arming problem is to leave the trim at center and just go to the servo setup and travel and set the high and low endpoints to 125%. And then on throttle cut, you can leave it at minus 100, which is a default. So that's the, that's the cleanest way to me 
to make the transmitter give the ESC what it wants. A thousand microseconds to two thousand microseconds with fifteen hundred microseconds at center. So if you do that, you can leave the trim at zero and you can leave the throttle cut at the default of minus 100. Now I'll show you if you do happen to have older firmware and the throttle cut is set to minus 130. That, click OK. See now it goes to minus 150 with the throttle cut on and minus 125. So see, you don't want minus 130 there. You want the default of minus 100 because it, it's going to give you 100% of whatever the endpoint is set to. So minus 100 for throttle cut, 125% both ways for throttle, and you're done. That's all you got to do. So anyway, there you go.